good morning children so before we begin with the class today let us discuss about the situation which we have uh, just because of this corona pandemic nearby us so children uh, still uh, the situation is not good so these are the precautions which you have to take and you have to educate others also wash your hand often with soap and water avoid touching your eyes nose and mouth cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue paper uh, stay home if you are sick avoid close contact with people who are sick disinfect frequently and this is the proper way of washing your hand this is very important because it is the hand who, which is involved whenever you touch your nose mouth or eyes take steps to your protect these st steps are very important you all know so i hope uh, you all know the situation well and in this situation uh, in this scenario you have to educate others you have to take your social responsibility of educating others and this is an important children education is not limited to the textbooks it is all about it is also about spreading the awareness it is all about educate people so that they can realize their responsibilities it is all about to spread harmony in the society so i hope you people are getting to what i am saying i hope it is clear children are you getting this or not so those who have joined just now i request them to please switch on your video so that i can check whether you people are in school uniform or not and if not then also tell me honestly then also switch on your video if not then uh, next time please be in uniform but this is not good so aditya jain divyan switch off aditya jain uh, abhijay singh uh, kushagra tiwari okay and then ramsha siddiqui switch on your video गौरव श्रीवास्तव अंजलि सिंह प्रखर तिवारी प्रखर तिवारी तशबीब जफर बेटा प्लीज स्विच ऑन योर वीडियो तशबीब ओके उज्ज्वल पंडित स्विच ऑफ अभिनव अग्रवाल स्विच ऑन योर वीडियो प्लीज फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शन यू पीपल आर नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग अंजलि सिंह वॉट है बेटा हर्ष सिंह स्विच ऑन योर वीडियो हर्ष सिंह जान्या जायसवाल स्विच ऑन योर वीडियो जान्या ओके स्विच ऑफ नाउ ओके नाउ चिल्ड्रन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द क्लास टुडे चिल्ड्रन लास्ट टाइम आई गेव यू वन क्वेश्चन एंड द क्वेश्चन वाज टू चेक इफ ऑल द डिजिट्स आर सेम so to check if all the digits are same so now how to check that so children here actually a variable which i am going to use will be a flag variable flag variable sometime is also known as a status variable so here i have taken a flag variable f 
and here I have taken a number num here I have taken a variable for extracting the last digit and here I have taken a variable a for extracting all the digits one by one so here scanner class new scanner so this is what uh, and now enter number this is what you have to input so that is num is ss dot next int we have entered the number here and uh, as soon as you input the number immediately you need to extract the last digit and suppose the number is this what we need to check we need to check if this last digit if this last digit of the number which is for matches with every other digit of the same number so I am just talking about if this last digit which is for this one if this one is matches with the other digit and if it is if matches with pro, uh, matches then it is okay and if not then change the flag variable at present the flag variable is zero but if you change the flag variable from zero to one then later on you 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 can check the status of the flag variable if the status of the flag variable is still zero it means all the digits were same and if the status of the flag variable has changed it simply means some of the digits were not equal to the last digit so this is how you can check so if anybody is having any confusion then please tell i have just told you the logic of that so if you have any confusion then please tell hurry up children and if not then also okay so uh, Gaurav has sent me the code okay Gaurav okay uh, break but you have not changed the flag variable uh, wait uh, while n is more than zero you are extracting the digits you are extract checking with the last digit okay so if f is not equals to d no sorry it will not work it will it will will not work if uh, in your logic if the first and last digit is same and in between if either any uh, one more digit which is not the first and last digit but any other digit which is different then your logic will tell that all the digits are same okay wait 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 Ah uh, yes, it will work. Uh, here, uh, children, uh, I will tell you both the logics which I am thinking and what Abhina uh, Gaurav is has written. So, so the same. Uh, now here, what to do is. So first of all, you need to extract the last digit. So that is num mod ten. Children, is this screen visible? screen is visible or not yes so while the number is more than zero in fact you use the copy not the number so here uh, one more variable is needed which is the copy of that and here what to do extract the digit extract the digits which is copy mod 10 and if the last digit is not matching with a then what we will be doing we will be writing f is equals to 1 and we will be terminating this loop and after that I am just writing copy is equals to copy y10 
and here what you need to do you need to simply check if f is 0 then all the digits were same all the digits were same else So children, this is the logic you have to write. Uh, so let's just see that. Suppose the number is uh, this, all the digits were same. And if either of the digit was different, suppose it is 4, 5, 4, 4, 4. So all the, here it is coming, all the digits were same. Why? Uh, last digit is a copy we have to just write copy is a must it is the first case and it is a second case so any problem then please tell Children, here I have uh, received the last digit first and then a loop has been started that will go from while copy is more than 0, a is equals to copy mod 10, all the digits we are extracting one by one and if last is not equals to a, it means if last digit is not matching with any other digit then immediately change the status variable f is equals to 1 and break. So finally, when loop terminates, you need to check if the value of f is 0 means there was no contradictory situation. So it means everything was fine. Every digit matched with the last digit. Otherwise, the status would have, be, would have changed. But if a status is still 0, it means all the digits were same. Otherwise, not. Yes, any query? If any query, then please tell. Class 9th, this is the logic. So, I'm just posting this question on GCR. Uh, but uh, please tell me honestly if you have any doubt. If you have any doubt, then please tell. Hurry up fast. No doubt. And now the logic which Gaurav is going to tell me. What Gaurav has done, he has not used the status variable. And here a status variable is not needed to just remove that. And what he is doing immediately is breaking. And he is checking if A is not equals to, if A is not equals to last, then all the digits were not same. And still if everything is fine, all the digits were same. So this is what Gaurav is using. So now here, uh, suppose the number is 2222, you can see that all the digits were same. And if either of the digit mismatch, so that is 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, this, so all the digits were not same. Actually, what is happening here, if any mismatch occurs here, then immediately break will happen. And then at that moment of time when while loop terminates outside the body of while loop, A will having that mismatched digit. So if A is still having, definitely it is not going to match with the last. And if it is a case, all the digits are not same. And if everything got matched properly, so this if condition will never get, uh, never become true, nothing will happen, loop terminates. And definitely when this loop terminates, A will also match with the last. Because when this loop terminates, A must be representing the very first digit of the number. 
here if the number is 4444 and when this loop terminates definitely a will be representing 4 because this 4 is a first digit this 4 this 4 is a first digit which a will be having so the first digit is also 4 so suppose the uh, suppose the number is uh, like uh, 6, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And when this loop terminates, what will happen? In that moment of time, uh, this uh, A will be representing 6, the very first number. I hope it is clear. It is, uh, I hope you all have understood this. So, this is the second method of doing that. So, shall I post this also on the GCR, children? So, here this one also. Okay. Now, all of you please try one more question I am giving you just now. And the question is, VAP to check if this one is the easy one. And Gaurav, you have to post only on WhatsApp, not on uh, not on uh, chat box. Okay, you can post me directly on my WhatsApp number, and I hope you know my number. Now the question is: Write a program to input any number, and check if the first and last digit of the number is same. So please try. Rest of you can post the solution in the chat box. Hurry up. Hurry up, children. Okay, Divyansh. Uh, yes, it's absolutely correct, Divyansh. Yes, anybody else? Javardhan. Uh, it is, uh, it is, it is, it is, it is. No, not at all. Javardhan in this while loop is missing. Sorry, it will work only for two digits. 
you must have uh, sub you need to think that uh, the number may have one or more digits uh, more than two digits if it is a more than two digit number then what you will do so you have to be very careful so i hope it's clear it is very much clear and if you don't have any uh, if you have problem then please tell yes hurry up class 9th yes but i you have you have not written the while loop what you say you have entered the number okay by 10 then what sorry it will not work you need to extract the first digit you need to extract the last digit I don't know how you are checking. Ishan boss. But the code send me the code hurry up fast what you people are doing. Hurry up hurry up fast. satya no need to count the digits okay you are counting then uh, then should it it should be 10 to the power i minus 1 child if you do this method it is 10 to the power i minus 1 because suppose there are three digits then the value of i will be 3 and 10 to the power 3 will be 1000 So suppose the number is two hundred thirty-four by one thousand will give you zero. It will not return you the first digit. And if you want the first digit, you need to divide that three digit number by hundred. So every time it will be ten to the power i minus one. Ten to the power i minus one. Yes. Got it? Navasatya. Yes, this is what you have to do. So, pre, please correct your code. Yes, anybody else? Yes. Anybody else? Ah, uh, Aditya Jain. okay uh no aditya your while loop will will become infinite because every time you are writing copy by 10 and the copy is suppose 123 so 123 by 10 every time will happen but this copy will not change it will remain 123 so this while loop will not terminate this will become a never ending loop because uh, simply writing cop first is equals to copy by 10 will not change the value of copy and if you want to change the value of copy you need to write copy is equals to copy by 10 i hope it's clear so this will become infinite the problem is this Yes. Anybody else? 
Yes, anybody else? Class ninth, hurry up. Fast. Yes, anybody else? What happened? Nobody wants to submit now? Aditya Dev. FD is equals to FD is equals to last year's Aditya Dev. It will work. Aditya Tiwari. Uh, it will also work. Aditya. Aditya Jan, you have modified. Okay. Uh, okay. Aditya, you cannot write while the value of first is greater than or equals to 10. Okay, then no issues. More than 10 also you can write. More than 10. It will be better if you write more than 10. But it will work. Okay, now children, please see. Uh, uh, the first and last is it same. I am going to do this. Uh, First, last, same. And here what to do is uh, main method. This is the number. And this is for the last digit. And this is for the first digit. Uh, so what to do? Enter number. Scanner SS new scanner system dot in uh, here the scanner and here num is ss dot next int and immediately make the copy of this num which is first so what to do is while first is more than nine so children i'm just showing you what this code will do first does it is that first and here you can write first is equals to first by 10. So children, if you execute this program, definitely you will be getting the first digit of the number. And here you can see that the first digit is six. So what is happening here? I'm just trying to run the code uh, while loop that uh, while this first is more than nine. So when this value of first becomes less than nine or equals to nine, the loop will terminate. So that's why I am dividing every time. So whenever the first digit is there, the loop will terminate. And now what is the second thing? Second thing is that last digit you need to extract and which is num mod 10. So here what you have done, you got the first digit, you got the last digit and now you need to check. So how to check? if if first matches with the last if this is the case if first matches with the last definitely the first and the last does it is same else the first 
and the last digit is not same so children this is the code so here suppose the number is 5678 you can see that the first and last digit is not same but if the number is 56785 you can see that the first and last digit of the number is same so i hope you all have understood this uh, any issues then please tell so please children please tell if you have any issues uh, okay so i'm just posting the code on the gcr And in a similar way, uh, you can also check if all the digits are even or not. So how to check that if all the digits are even? Hurry up fast. All digits even. So here it is main method. This is the number. And this is the desert you have taken a and here what to do scanner class new scanner and here you need to input the number which is enter number and that is num is ss.next int uh, that is num which is ss.next int you have entered uh, the number here and now you need to check if all the digits are even so while num is more than 0 a is equals to num mod 10 and if a mod 2 is 1 then immediately break And here what to do is uh, num is equals to num by 10. So now if a is less than 10 and and a mod 2 is even then all the digits are even else all the digits are not even so children here why uh, i am checking if a is less than 10 because uh, simple uh, simply one condition that a mod 2 is 0 will not work because suppose the first four digits, suppose uh, here the number is, uh, suppose the number is 456, then it will also work, uh, nay, suppose the number is 36, 367. Uh, we need to check or not okay fine uh, but it will work any issues then please tell you can do the same question with the help of that uh, flag variable also so class ninth class ninth any issues any problems please share okay i hope you people have understood now i am posting the google form link so that you people can mark your attendance uh, so here i am just providing the link in the chat box 
so please mark your attendance and if you have any doubt you can stay otherwise you people can leave uh maitri gupta any doubt okay kavya singh any doubt aditya singh any doubt okay so thank you if you don't have any doubt please leave thank you